Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Twenty-four minutes before ten o'clock. Thank you for tuning into the Source WOCA. I love when we have something fun to talk about, and uh, we have something fun, and plus a a guy with an, an amazing um, bit of information regarding his songwriting credentials. And as you know, I, I love songwriting as well. When when uh, my son was younger, little little guy, one of the things that I will always fondly remember, and man, I sure hope he remembers this too. I'm, I'm pretty sure he does. I sent him a. a I sent my son a picture one time of the cover of a children's book that I read to him a thousand million times <laughs> <laughs> when he was little. The book that I read to my son was, uh, oh, uh, my goodness, uh, How F- Spider Saved, How something, Spider Saved Santa Bug or something. How Spider like Saved Santa Bug. How Spider Saved Santa Bug. It was a crazy yeah. title. I mean, there was no, you know, there's no, no real Aesop's fable t- kind of point to the whole thing. It was just <laughs> silly. He loved every night. I would read this to him before he went to bed. I probably could recite it to you right now, just like the little old lady who swallowed a fly. Yes. There once was the lady. I could probably there recite that to you. The, the ability to recite something you've read over and over again is going to, or the phenomenon of being able to do that is going to happen with this book we have right here. It is called, now I'm going to have um, our guest correct my pronunciation. Uh, Jeff Crosden wrote this, illustrated this, and there's a CD that he has songs on here as well. Uh, the book is called Aida Chicada Today. I'm going to leave that as the pronunciation. He can correct me if it's Chiquita, Chicada. I don't know if it's Tomato, Tomato. Uh, he has uh, won some awards, Emmy Award. He's an Emmy-nominated songwriter. One of the things that impressed me was the Million Air Award from BMI, uh, which me- means that his songs were aired a million times. That is incredible. That is pretty cool. I only know one guy. I don't know too many songwriters, really. You know, I mean, we've spoken to them, but I only know one. Um Dick Holler, who wrote uh, Abraham, Martin, and John. Yes. And I remember when he got his BMI Millionaire Award. It was mm-hmm. like, wow, the song's been on the air a million times. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Uh, Jeff Crossan, good morning, Jeff. How are you? Well, hi. I, I, I'm, I'm great. I, I'm very happy to join you guys. Where are you? Where are you calling from? Uh, well, let me look around. <laughs> uh, I, I, I appear to be in, in uh, my home in Franklin, Tennessee, which is a little, uh, little south of Nashville. The uh, the song you won the award for is "You're Gonna Ruin My Bad Reputation." That's right. Yeah, <laughs> uh, that was that was a song uh, recorded by country artist uh, Ronnie McDowell. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know that. So, is it cicada or cicada? What is it? Well, it's cicada. Uh, oh, where sick. I come from. Yeah, cicada. Uh, there are different pronunciations, I guess, in different parts of the of the country and, and maybe the world. But uh, I grew up uh, referring to them as cicadas, and, and it makes for a good rhyme. I ate a cicada. <laughs> so you're going to have parents loving you and hating you for this because every night they want to read this book, <laughs> <laughs> or they're going to say, "Oh, every night they wanted to read this book." So they were going to love you or hate you, hate you for it. But anyway, anyway you, you definitely, if if writing something that is catchy is the key to success, you've definitely done it with this. Oh, thank you, thank you. So, where did this come from? I mean, where in your brain or in your spirit are, are you a daddy? Uh, yes, but it, it, it's an interesting story. It actually, it literally came out of the blue. I, I had my my two children with me uh, years ago here in Nashville uh, when there was a cicada swarm. We were on our way through a restaurant parking lot into a restaurant. And suddenly, out of the blue, this cicada uh, flew down and smacked me in the mouth. Mm-hmm. And I just said uh, to them, whoa, I, I almost ate a cicada. <laughs> and I, yeah, I keep a little you know, idea book. I wrote it down there. And then we went into the restaurant, and I just sat there with uh, uh, a rhyming frenzy going on, saying I peppered a leopard, uh, I leapfrogged a war, anything I think of. Oh, okay. So the pronunciation really is important in this case. Okay. And I I noticed that with the other ones, but for some reason it didn't click with me that Cicada had a rhyme with Iata. Okay, got it. Right, right, right. Yeah, the whole thing is, 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 uh, the rhymes led the way for for this song, really. And And what's on the CD? Is it one song or several songs? It's it's one long song. Uh, it, it has 15 <laughs> verses 
for it. But each each verse, I change up the music a, a, a little bit. The melody remains the same, but the tempo, the time signatures, those things uh, change. But each each page is a different animal or insect, and uh, each each verse is uh, is a little different. The book is wonderfully illustrated, and Robin pointed out that you are also the illustrator. So uh, I, I feel good telling you that. Some, sometimes you'll speak to children's authors. And we'll just go on and on about the illustrations. And then, well, that was really somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, there's no, your picture. Well, I'm looking at you. Oh, you're a nice looking guy. And you got a guitar there. So is, so is it like a folk song on the, on the, on the CD? Or well, it, 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 it's a guitar vocal. It's, it's, it's simple. And uh, I, I did it because I, I think that puts um, the focus on the lyric where they should be. And... Uh, and also, if I go out and, and perform it, uh, you'll uh, you'll hear what you hear on the CD. Did you, Jeff? Did you ever see um, uh, an, an idiot in goes abroad on, on on Netflix? An idiot goes abroad. Yes. Yeah, I do remember that. All right. There's an episode where he goes somewhere, China or something, and he's everywhere he goes in this market. People are eating bugs. Oh right. So they wouldn't think mean, they wouldn't think this was weird at all. They would think this was cool. You know, hey, that's normal. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's right. And in fact, uh, this song was written a long, long time ago, and it sat around before I realized I could I could turn it into a, a book. But it was before all those shows, the survival shows. Uh, oh, okay. Out. And and the second line in, in it is, uh, "I ate a cicada today." I know that sounds crazy to say, and I, I thought, well, it's not, it doesn't sound quite as crazy <laughs> today as it did maybe when I first wrote it, but. Uh, yeah, I, I I still would not particularly want to chow down on a cicada. <laughs> the, the way, oh, sorry, Robin. Go ahead. I uh, re- really appreciate the fact that your writing is such that when the uh, children are old enough to read by themselves, the older siblings will be able to read this book to the younger siblings and get the younger siblings interested in learning how to read. Well, that'd be great. Yeah, I, I hope that that would be the case. I I, I wrote it. Um, hoping that the humor would uh, would have a broad reach, uh, I, I like to think it's for maybe ages uh, four and up. You, you know, this morning we did a little piece. We listened to some audio of a mom, uh, like an eighty-seven-year-old mother, with her forty-something-year-old daughter, and she's the older woman has Alzheimer's. And the bottom line is, it was just beautiful, and love was filled with it. And I said, you know, Robin, this is. This is why God keeps us all alive. There's more love in this world than there is to these nasty stirs that we have to yes. report on, uh, which is why this is such a breath of fresh air to be able to talk about your book, Jeff. Um, oh, I ate a cicada today. This is a beautifully illustrated, com- comes with a CD, um, written and illustrated by our guest, Jeff Crosden. I'm, I wish we had more ch- time to chat, but I need to give this one away. Somebody out there is going to be very happy to get it. Some child out there is going to be very l- happy to hear it over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, so <laughs> call me right now, and you can have the copy that Jeff sent us. However, the rest of us can go buy it, myself included. Jeff, how do we do that? Do you have a website? Yes, uh, I ate a cicada today dot com, and and it's it's available uh, Barnes and Noble, Amazon. Uh, Hopefully, in, in bookstores everywhere. I have a national uh, distribution uh, outfit, APG, uh, and, and they're hard at work. All right, excellent. Let me get this one away. Good morning. You've got the book. Who's this? Hey, that's fantastic. And, and what's your first name? Andrew. Andrew, do you know where we are? Uh, you used to be at the... Um well, we're in the, pa- the falls. That- we're in the Paddock Mall now, right? Be- right before oh. the uh, the food court. Okay. Oh sure, I know where it is. Outside the doors. Don't don't stay inside the mall. Come outside. Okay, I'll be right there. All right, thank you, <laughs> uh, Jeff. Thank you. We're up against the clock, but thank you so much for being on with us today. Appreciate it, Larry. Had a great time. All right, we'll be right back. It'll be partly sunny today with a shower and thunderstorm around high eighty six to ninety. Partly cloudy tonight. There can be a shower along the coast, low seventy one to seventy five. Tomorrow, times of clouds and sun with that shower or thunderstorm in the area at any time, high eighty eight to ninety two. 